Hello, Piglet. Well, hello, Pooh. I, I was just coming to see you. I was hoping you'd say that. Why, Piglet, this honeypot is empty. <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to work or look anything like I want it to, but what the heck, right? We're going to use thick set on this one right here because I got to get up into all that uh, honeycomb. Hopefully it works. We're going to use some of this Aztec gold that made that platter look uh, this is Perlex from uh, Jacquard. All right, I filled this up. These things are just to keep this thing steady because it's uh, rocking. Might need something on those sides too. We're going to pour this in there. Probably have to do one more pour. Yeah, we're gonna do one more pour and just do it all in one. I'll be right back. This is the final pour. And yes, I have too much, but I've got something else I'm gonna put it into. See you tomorrow, not. It takes three days for this stuff to cure, so I'll see you in about three days.
All right, got my glove. <laughs> Let's get going. Got it up to 800 grit. I'm just gonna do the bottom part and the bottom, and then I'll flip it over and we'll keep going on this. I sanded it up to 400 on the inside. Don't need the actual finish that you usually get with uh, up to 800. All right, let's put on some sanding sealer.
We do the inside and outside with this. See if it comes through. Just got hit in the face shield with something. Yeah, pieces popped out. That's okay. That happens. Damn, I ain't down. I thought I was down to the wood already. All right, here's what's going on with this wood. <clears throat> this is a piece of white oak, and white oak has very large pores. If you go watch my tri-winged bowl video, you can see there's air that will go all the way through it. So the resin actually penetrated through it. I used that uh, thick set for that. <clears throat> So now it's uneven. How the heck did that happen? It must have bent the screws that are in there. All right, gotta sand it up to about 400. Let's go ahead and put some of this on. A lot of people ask why I put this on my resin also. Well, this uh, cellulose sander gets into the little scrapes uh, that are in are there from sanding and it helps to fill those also people are like what but it does Alright, so I had to go back and make some of these. These little rubber stoppers weren't big enough, so had to make these uh, out of ePay. Hopefully they will uh, they'll function like I want. All right, so here it is, the honey pot. Uh, I think it came out uh, better than I expected. Uh, back over here, it looks like honey is pouring out of the side here. The lid goes on. Uh, it's just amazing. Now, 
I made this for a special subscriber that's been watching all my videos. His name is Aiden, so hey Aiden, uh, this will be in the mail to you uh, come just a few days from now. So I hope you really enjoyed it, and I know that you like the logo, so that is where I made sure I could put a logo in here. You can't really brand uh, the resin. It doesn't come out well. Go look me up on Facebook or Instagram. I'm on both and I post daily stuff. Uh, also, just a big thank you to Total Boat and Starbond. If you're looking for a discount code, you can go down in my description. Also, I now have a 10% off coupon for Axe Wood Paste. If you go down, there should be a link to Axe. Use MPC10 for 10% off. Alright, I really appreciate all of your support. Until next time, stay cool.